And to trending now, well, trending very big on social media over the weekend was Clementine Ford. Now, Ford, as background, claims she's a feminist and a writer, but she gets most attention, it seems to me, when she's an exhibitionist, someone who calls even women, conservative women, that is, the C word, and posts tweets saying, all men are scum and must die and kill all men and kill and... Oh, killing's on her mind. Tweets she's never apologised for before. Couldn't care less whether or not someone thinks that I hate men. I know what I believe about stuff and they, if they need to feel that about me to not engage with the things that I talk about, then that's on them. Now, given that record, uh, it was just fairly well known, I would have thought, I was amazed to read a few weeks ago that Melbourne City Council had decided to give Ford, Ford an arts grant to write her next book even though she was already writing it anyway, and even though its rules say that uh, this program will not support artists that seek to exclude or offend other parts of the community. <laughs> well, I don't think that Clementine should have qualified. And Clementine being Clementine, she could not resist and tweeted um, uh, last week, honestly, the coronavirus isn't killing men fast enough. And that was finally too much even for Lord Mayor Sally Cap, who has ordered a review into how this grant was ever awarded to such a woman. Joining me is Daisy Cousins, a YouTube star with her own video channel and has never wished death on anyone. <laughs> uh, Daisy, how on, <laughs> earth, how on earth was this grant given to someone like Ford when the record goes back years, is very clear, and when the program actually says Melbourne City Council won't fund someone who seeks to divide or offend parts of the community? Well, it's fairly extraordinary, um, isn't it, when you consider the rules and you consider what she said over the years. I, I mean, it's certainly the comments that you've mentioned could be a ve very well perceivably um, offensive and exclusive to a rather large chunk of the population, <laughs> half of the community, that is, um, and that is men. And certainly the most recent comment she made about how the coronavirus apparently isn't killing men fast enough um, was, was, was her latest sort of bout of this. And she, she said it, um, you know, she fobs these things off as jokes, though, Andrew. You know, it's, oh, it's hyperbole. Mm. Oh, I'm punching up. Oh, it's not the same if you say it about women, etc., etc. Oh, you know, I, I only said that about the coronavirus because of an article I read. I was airing, airing my frustrations, blah, 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 blah. But that doesn't change the fact, Andrew, that this most recent comment was in incredibly poor taste given current global world events, and especially since the coronavirus actually is killing men faster than it is killing women. So it was, it was particularly uh, divisive. But the bottom line is, Andrew, that Clementine Ford makes these comments about men. And nowadays, of course, men, specifically white men, are the only demographic in society that it is publicly um, and politically correct uh, and acceptable to denigrate based on their race and on their gender. And considering that Clementine uh, resides in the Socialist Republic of Victoria, and she lives in the city of Melbourne, which is practically St. Petersburg, and this whole, you know, double standard is pushed by the cultural left, well, of course, the city of Melbourne would probably think it was perfectly fine to give her an aunt's grant, even if she has said these things about men, because, hey, look, we can all just pile on men and call it empowering, and that's perfectly fine, according to them. Well... Already the, uh, I mean, Clementine Ford has sort of given an apology or whatever, um, which is a first as far as I can tell. Now, already the Greens Council, who heads the city's uh, arts grants section, says that Ford won't have to give back the grant, should she? Well, look, the, some of the reasons that he, he gave for that were um, he didn't want this to be kind of a Trojan horse that could be used in future to censor artists. And he said that arts grants mm. are often controversial. And, look, on principle in the abstract, I, I agree with him. I mean, the minute you start saying, well, so-and-so said X, Y, Z on Twitter, let's never get, give them any money or support or anything like that, well, that that's a Pandora's box right there. So I understand where he's coming from. But, Andrew, the bottom line is, if Clement Clementine had made those comments about black people or about Jewish people or about Asian people or about gay people or about trans people or about any other woman, she would have lost that arts funding like that. 
no questions asked and everyone would have been on board. But again, since it's about men, it's apparently okay. So whichever way you scratch it, Andrew, this is just a massive, yeah. massive expose of that raging double standard that goes through public discourse nowadays.